Hey guys, welcome back to the Learn AP Chem series here at Learn AP. Today we're going to go over percent composition, empirical formulas, and molecular formulas. So we're going to talk about, you know, what is percent composition, how to find percent composition, and then finding empirical and molecular formulas. Before we get going, leave a comment if you're confused or have questions on any of this stuff, or you can also ask in our weekly live streams we do every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, we'll get started. All right, so let's start by talking about percent composition. Now, percent composition tells us how much of each compound or element is present in a compound on a percent basis. So let's say we have some compound B with some element A in it. Our percent composition of A and B is the molar mass of A, which is our element, all over the molar mass of B, which is our compound. Now to get here, use factor labeling and moles. And then once you have molar mass of A, molar mass of B, you can just plug it into this equation. So a quick example, determine the percent composition of hydrogen and water. So I know my molar mass of H is going to be 1. My molar mass of H2O is 18 grams. And now it's also important to note that I have two moles of hydrogen per one mole of water. So here this is going to be 2 all over 18, and I'm sorry, this should be 0 0.01, 18.01, and then this is all going to come out to give me 11.1%. And so that's how you do percent composition. Let's talk about empirical formulas now. Now, an empirical formula is the normal formula you're used to seeing, but the number of atoms in the compound are simplified. So for example, H2O2, we can factor out a 2, and this can be written empirically as HO. So that's all an empirical formula is. OK, so let's talk about finding empirical formulas now. A lot of times on the AP test, you'll be asked to find the empirical formula of a mystery compound. So how would you do that? So let's take our first example here. What is the empirical formula of a compound containing 34.3 grams of barium and 17.7 .7 grams of chlorine? So here we're going to first want to determine the number of moles of each element. So number of moles of barium, I'm just going to take my grams divided by my molar mass. Molar mass of barium is 137.327. And this is going to come out to 0 0.250 moles of Ba. For chlorine, I have 17.7 divided by 35.45 molar mass of chlorine. And this is going to get me 0 0.500 moles of chlorine. Now second is we're going to want to divide all values I've gotten by the smallest amount of moles obtained. So our smallest amount here is 0 0.250. So let's divide both this number and this number by 0 0.250. So 0 0.250 over 0 0.250 equals 1. 0 0.500 over 0 0.250 equals 2. And now step three is um, only if you end up with a fraction from one of these numbers, which is where you're just going to multiply through by the denominator so that you end up with whole numbers. And now step four is we're going to write out our compound according to the amount of moles I've gotten. So if you remember that here, so I can just simply write BACL2. And so that's how you find an empirical formula. All right, so now let's talk about molecular formulas. A molecular formula is the normal formula you're used to seeing. 
it is not simplified. So H2O2 is our molecular formula. And then HO is our empirical. Okay, so a lot of times you'll be asked to find the molecular formula. And it's very similar to empirical, but just a few extra steps. So step one, we're going to find our empirical formula. Step two, find the molar mass of your empirical formula. Step three, divide the molar mass of the compound, or your mystery compound, by the molar mass of its empirical formula. And this is going to give you a whole number. It might give you one, it might give you five, whatever. And so you're going to then go to step four, which is taking that whole number and multiplying it through the empirical formula subscripts. So let's say that I found my empirical compound was HO. In step three, I got the number five. For step four, I would just do H5O5. All right, so that brings me to today's challenge problem. A compound was found to contain 6.00 grams of carbon, 1.01 grams of hydrogen, and 7.99 grams of oxygen. Its molar mass was found to be 180.16 grams per mole. What is its molecular formula? The solution to this is on our website, learn-ap.com, and I'll also put a direct link in the description for that practice solution. If you guys found this video helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe for future content. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so you never miss a live stream, which we do every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern, where we answer your questions about AP Chem. Links for that stuff will also be in the description. If you guys are looking for other resources to help you learn AP Chem, be sure to check out our resource recommendation video. Other than that, leave a comment if you're still confused about anything or any other comment on the video in general. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.